You're probably wondering, what the hell is that? Are we playing a, a Game Boy game? What are we doing? What are you doing? Did you find another thing on TikTok? I sure fucking did. Thanks to Mustache Dragon, introducing the binary music player. So let's be honest here. I have no idea what's going on. So we're gonna have to do a little research and see what the hell is this. The binary music player is based around it's based around this video, which we're gonna watch, which is using real piano sounds. So it's a lot more elegant. And this is built with Tone JS. Okay, so this is like a program thing. I don't know. Built by Tim Holman. Let's try and figure out what the heck this is about. Okay, so description first. In the song, the piano uses 10 keys. Each represents a binary value. The value being played can be seen on the screen in real time. Given the nature of this piece, I thought it'd be appropriate to give a video a theme from the age of early computing. And then there's some spaghetti code you can download. Oh, so it's saying we're gonna count to 1,023. It's counting to 1,023 in binary. Okay, so each one is a key. So that's why it's doing that kind of like pedal thing. So this will be a lower note, right? And then it'll get even lower. Once it gets there. Oh, this is such a cool idea for songwriting. I don't understand how binary counting works. <laughs> okay, this is gonna sound real, uh, real dumb. I don't know anything about how binary works. Was there a thousand and twenty three notes in that? How to count in binary. To find what the number ten in binary, binary, and binary no, it's low. is. Is it low? Okay, well, who needs math for music? That's what I say. You just gotta go with your gut. Okay, let's start fucking around, okay? So we'll do like a low A. Eh, 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 eh. So this is an octave, right? C. So this is the C. It's pedal. It's like hitting that. Okay. So it's hitting that C. I'm starting to get it. Let's change it to be a little higher. This is C. That's F. Let's just go up the octave and try that. So this is a similar kind of pattern to this, like it's like a similar pedally type thing. There's a little bit more movement in this for sure. It would be cool to to like to like play over this. This is like a cool way to just make like a, a unique loop. I might do it. I might do that. We'll make a stream song off this stuff. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So that's how you can kind of make that pedally pattern is by giving each one something very close to each other. So it seems like your primary melody or the thing that's gonna be around the most is gonna kind of live in these first five digits. And then more dramatic stuff would be up here. You would hear it more in like the second half of whatever it is. So let's see what kind of a nightmare this sounds like. Why is that so low? <laughs> I reversed the piano. I reversed the piano. Okay, that's my fault. Let's go like here. No, that's low. This is low. This is high. Right? This is the high. What the hell is a piano? <laughs> no, I'm right. It goes higher up there. I'm not dumb. The fuck is happening? This is gonna sound like shit. Ugh. Okay, so we can see from here one two three four five. So the fifth digit sounds like shit So let's just go that let's try it Okay, how is it red is it fifth from this side so it'd be this Good good lord so like do I have to think about this in reverse? Would this be the lowest digit? So it'd be one, two, three, four, five. This is hot. Higher. So let's just fuck here. Ooh! Oh my god, 
That would be disgusting. Oh! Man, I'm gonna have to write some music with this for this video. Okay, we figured it out. It's gonna start here, so our main pedal now is the fourth F. How is the intro of Black Parade? Try, we're just gonna try and replicate this a little bit. All of that work, and for what? Okay, now hang on. Now that we have that looping, can we get can we get the song to sync up to it? Can we get the song to sync up to it if we if we do it right? Because it sounds like it's in the same tempo, or it could be in the same tempo. We can make it be in the same tempo, you know? All right, so let's try and like try and find li like line it up. Fingers crossed. Hang on. Okay, hear me out here. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, do I have edge? I gotta volume mix this a little bit. I gotta open edge. Eh. Now this volume mixer will let me have this at higher volume. Yeah. So I can keep that low, and this can be loud, and vice, vice versa. Okay. Uh, let's try. Guys, try again. Fuck, I was early. We'll get it. We're gonna get it. Nah, no, nah, it's not there. Is there a way I can play piano on here like really, really easily? How do I do that? Online pianist. Okay, so now we can play along on our own. We don't have to worry about anything but anything. Okay, so now we have we have this going. And now we can play along on ourselves. Okay, I just gotta learn how to play. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe, maybe we should figure out how how to play it first, huh? It's so long. This was a. Okay, it's it's like four. It's like it's like pinky pinky to pointer, far, there. Okay. This time? That was pretty good. I I gotta not not too shabby. I'm not used to clicking notes. I'm just used to yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck with this a little bit and we might we might put it in the video I might try to make a song with this and put it in the video. Maybe at that point if I do it, you'll see it now
But yeah, that's uh, that is the binary music player. Big shout out to Alfred Kedhammer and Tim Hallman for putting this together. It's always really cool to find new, new and interesting ways to uh, do music and uh, different things to make your make your brain make your brain buzz. Thank you.